Hello everyone, and welcome back to Game Break, the full coverage writer's presentation where we try not to get slaughtered by big daddies that are right around the corner. Honestly, if you've been watching right now, you know what we're all about. Will here, back in Rapture as Jack, with a big daddy right around the corner. Hopefully, they won't come around this corner. Please don't come around this corner. Please don't come around this corner. I know, I need to find gather pheromone samples. Okay. I don't know where they went, but they're not here. Okay. So, getting back to it. <laughs> We're back here. Uh, searching for samples so that we can smell like a big daddy so we can get a little sister to open a door for us. Uh, it hasn't been the superest, easiest of things. Part of me wants to take care of the big daddy right now. But of course, I don't know where the big daddy went. Probably up these stairs. So for now... Let's advance. Oh my. Those aren't my bullets. Okay. I have to laugh uh, every time when I'm not playing this game. I think up all sorts of things I want to talk about related to the plot of this game. But then once I get in, the, uh... Ooh, another sample. The, uh... Fear and paranoia created by this atmosphere overtakes me once more. I want to listen to this recording, but I don't want to be disturbed by splicers. Why? There's somebody here. No. Ha. Where are you going? Okay, took care of her. Where are you going? The answer is nowhere. Okay, problem solved. Now let's listen in. Why can we not do it to adults, I wonder? Ah, here we go. A good start. Now you need only to find the bodysuit and the voice box from the other lab, and you will be a proper brute. Get moving. Hmm. Charming as ever. Uh-oh. Yep. 
I like those tornadoes. They're very entertaining. Okay, so I was trying to say... I'm going to try not to be too uh, spacey out of here. Someone's around here still. Uh, quick check in here. Mm, I don't think I need any of that stuff. So I get the feeling what happened was overall of the main plot. Oh, hello. We'll get back to that. Oh, no, wait. I want to trap ones. I want to try something. Oh boy. Well, I can't go up that way now. Oh god, he came to me. Came to me. Came to me. You know what, lady? I don't care. I was just about to hit a first aid kit. Ah, uh, where am I even? Where am I even? Oh, you son of a butt! I don't want to go that way yet. I am displeased now. Come here. Son of a... Son of a everything. All of the sons. All of the swear words and cusses and things. I had that big daddy. Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, and I gotta do this to get in here. Come on. Up here. Up here. Crouch down. Come in. Uh, now I gotta find that big daddy again. Oh, he's nearby. There they are. Oof. Oh crap. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not cool. Not cool at all. Sheesh. I said, do the thing. Oh, 
Okay, so, as I've been trying to go on about for a while, yeah, you're welcome, with the bloody plot for this game. So as far as I can tell, Andrew Ryan built Rapture. We all know this to be true. He got funding from quite a lot of people in order to make this city, mostly so he could just do whatever he wanted uh, without worrying about any kind of government oversight committees or anything like that. And it was a brilliant idea to get people under his... to join him. Basically going, oh yeah, you uh, come with me. And uh, you won't have to worry about the government saying, you can't experiment with that, you can't do this, you can't do that. One of the people who got to come with him was... Uh... Oh. doing autopsy on no uh, dead little girls I'll tell you that much I didn't damage it on purpose just trying to make sure none of these splicers sneak up on me while I'm doing my thing there you are. Heesh. So much stuff. Anyway, one of the people... Oh, I got an extra extra potent sample. Ooh, safe cracker. Get your item. Yada, yada, yada. Greatly reduces difficulty in hacking safes and combo locks. Well, yeah, I'm going to replace... Uh, go with the upgraded version. So one of the people he got to help him with this place was Frank Fontaine of Fontaine Futuristics. Fontaine helped by developing, uh, I think this woman is above me. Uh, ooh, first aid kits. Yeah, so I'm just going to buy them. Buy, uh... Yeah, just uh, developing all these shenanigans with the uh, the plasmids and whatnot. Uh, I'm trying to talk and not die at the same time. Hmm. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> no thank you. With the beeping. Uh, but I guess Frankie didn't like playing no second fiddle. And, uh... Came up with a real sneaky way to take... This wonderful city of Rapture... Away from Andrew Ryan. Namely... By getting the people to work together... To rebel against him which is pretty smart almost didn't see that camera it was especially easy for him to do because Andrew Ryan was t treating the common man basically like shit with his whole uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the one that uh, kindly asked me to get stepped on by a big daddy. Didn't appreciate that. Optimized eugenics. Yep. 
Oh, it's one of you. Whew. Oh! Bugger me. I hit the wrong button. I accidentally, uh... Right-clicked, which apparently also doubles for, uh... I'm just gonna destroy this thing. Wake up! Probably safer that way anyway. Yeah, I accidentally right-clicked. Oh! Thank you, little one. Adam, prolific inventor, and liquid nitro. Inventing is already a valuable pastime and resource, trapped halls of rapture. Make yourself a prolific inventor and you'll be the envy of your peers as you turn worthless junk to valuable commodities. Whenever you invent an item, you get twice as many as normal. Interesting. What was the clever inventor? One fewer of each component. Huh. I think getting double items is a better deal. So we'll go with that. But yeah, so Andrew Ryan was basically treating people like real crap here with this whole parasite nonsense. Parasite this, parasite that. Oh, a suit control system. Thank you. I don't know if I needed any more of those. Upgrades! Oh yes! Health upgrade, Eve upgrade, without even questioning it. Um... Other things that might be good? Am I using medical expert? I'll have to come back after checking to see if I'm even using medical expert. But, um... Upgrading electro bolt might be nice. Let's do that at least. And I still have enough if I want to do medical expert. I want to see if I have medical expert already active or not. And I can check by hitting here. No, not by hitting there. By... I don't know where. I need to find a thing. There was... Oh, I went all the way in the autopsy room. Forget that. Um... Well, I'll be back here. So yeah, Frank Fontaine took advantage of the fact that Andrew Ryan was treating the lower classes like they were, uh... Lower classes. And united them for his own devious purposes of taking over the joint. That was a dubious one. Alright, so I know I have to go in here. Presume I have to go in to the other side, too. There are a lot of, uh... Andrew Ryan asks you a simple question. Are you a man or a slave? Yeah, about that. Ooh. Should be able to burst this open. This door is frozen over. There's gotta be something good behind it. Right? Um. Ooh. Fontaine is dead. Bad for Fontaine. Good for Suchong. Play hard to get it for a bit. Mr. Ryan get hungry for me. Tenenbaum gone, Fontaine gone. Su Chong, only one who know all about little sister. Like I said, it's very good for Su Chong. Ah, this actually relates to what I was trying to talk about here. So Su Chong was initially only working for Andrew Ryan, developing the big daddies and the little sisters. And then once Ryan got 
Fontaine out of the picture. Su Chong, the ever industrious one, decided to side with Ryan. I mean, for profit, obviously. Makes sense. I'm gonna hack this one to get better prices. One moment, please. Uh, auto hacking. Yeah. There we go. So I can get some more frag grenades. Try to keep up on those. Uh, armored escorts or optimized eugenics. Or let me check the map because this place is uh, amazing. All right, so those stairs just lead back to the first room I was in, I think. I need to go to optimize eugenics and armored escorts in order to get the things. So I guess we'll just, since we're at the eugenics, we'll just go this way. Hello. He came to say hello. How kind of him. Does he have a little sister? Oh, look, he's adjusting his backpack. Oh, he called for someone to follow him, so... He's got a little sister. I think. Maybe? This would be the place to fight him, but I don't want to fight him if he doesn't have a little sister. Okay, I hear the little sister. Alright, and... So it begins. Oh. Out in the open. Bad times. But I can retreat this way. Load real quick. Oh, bad. Bad, bad. Ow! Didn't see that there. Crap. Well, that could have gone better. But at least that's the last little sister, so I won't have to really worry about big daddies anymore, so long as I don't do something stupid. Eesh. All of the yeesh. So much for my first aid kits. Alright, do I want to buy anything else? You know what? Um, I mean this... I must be using this. I'm gonna buy this. Oh yeah, I had the uh, Expert 2. I'm definitely upgrading to Expert 3. And you know what? I'm gonna get Insect Swarm 3. And there we have it. Now I need to get rid of these friggin' mines so I don't blow myself up. Oh man, I didn't realize I was so low on pistol ammo. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, so restocking on first aid kits. Thought I heard someone walking around. Okay, so that's all the little sisters for this level. So if I see any more big daddies, so long as I leave them alone, they should leave me alone. Yay, let's go get the voice box. Oh, 
Decontamination. Oh, no, no. Son of Beach. I'm missing. Oh, there's Shadow. Clever place for a camera. Oh, hi. Oh. Sound went out for a moment there. Oh, come on. Open. Oh, I gotta leave and walk back in. That's a lot of cigarettes. Where'd he go? Need more anti-personnel rounds is what I need. Come oh on. That room does not look fun. I don't even know if I want to go through that way or... Remember the map showed there were two side rooms. So yeah, Fontaine got the people to rebel against Ryan, which wasn't too difficult of a task. That other guy go. Ooh, frag grenades. Just bought a whole bunch of those, needlessly. Yep, well I guess he died, wherever he went. Yeesh. What is this place? This must be where they were de developing the plasmids. So yeah, it was Frank Fontaine's Fontaine's Futuristic that developed the plasmids, that developed the big daddies and the little sisters. They were all working together. Until, I guess Fontaine got greedy? He definitely sounded like he was the one dealing with the smuggling as well. I know, find the voice boxes. Just making sure. I always gotta like double check the bodies on the floor nowadays. Okay, this room seems awfully quiet. I'm full of those. I grabbed two at least. Ooh, what's this? I'll admit Fontaine showed some foresight when he built up the plasmid business, but the man really never understood sales. Hiding those little girls beneath a bushel. I've just seen the preliminary design work on the new plasmid machines, and they're exactly what I wanted. Mark my words. Presented properly, those little sisters all came down to the money who could make the most money that's how it always goes okay so this is just back here I haven't seen any voice boxes I hear you, where are you? No, you were just in there. Well then. And I, I, I lit the oil on fire just in case that guy wasn't dead dead. Again with the being thorough. I don't trust anything in this world anymore. Three 
security camera in there. Frickin, I haven't seen one of those in a while. I heard them crawling around, but I didn't know where they were. Saw a camera in here. More with the beeping. Ow, ow, okay, okay, ow, I get it. It's electrified. Alright, so there'll be no salvaging that camera. Won't be taking it out that way. I have explosive buck. Alright, there we go. No idea how I'm supposed to cross this, though. Or if I'm even... Oh, there's something on the other side. But no idea if it's timed or anything. I'm hesitant to just run across and try, so we'll save for later, I think. That wasn't so tough. Alright, might as well go through analysis. Just work our way around. I see ya. Didn't see me. Um, I'm assuming that guy was killing my new pet turrets were uh, having some fun. Oh, they're both machine gun turrets, too. Or, uh, the, the other one that's not a machine gun turret, because I'm way off on that one. They blew up the dude that was in here. And that's a good thing for me. And there's another power to the people weapon upgrade station. So... Not much choice left. I think I'm going to go with shotgun. Okay. Safety hack time. Oh, an easy one. A really easy one. That was a little, uh, too easy. I'm still not finding the voice boxes. Nice. I just have to stand here and wait while they blow up the bad guys. Oh, that's lovely. I am actually super glad I hacked those. But I'm still missing the voice... I haven't seen... Have you guys seen any voice boxes or anything? I think they're supposed to be in this section. Oh, you. You. Get them, boys. Ow. Okay, you got her. You're good. You can calm down now. 
Thanks for the assist. She hit on the corpse. Alright, let's try in here. There's another one. Boom! <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, 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 hey. Do we want to play with some bees? Oh! Goodness! I do not like it when they sneak up on me like that. I mean, I like the realism that these guys just wander around, but I don't like when they just sneak up behind me. I don't see how to do it. I don't have the right pieces. I don't have enough pieces. These are all turned down. So there's n I need one more. Ah. Kill it. Ow. That's more like it. I don't like that I didn't have enough pieces to simply do what I needed to do. That was just rude. Oh. Are we good? is the one that started the whole big daddy thing. Alright, over by the protector labs. I don't know where that is. It's probably on the other side. Oh yeah, spider spice organs. Seriously though, where are these voice boxes? Did I just go, like, down the wrong path and there are no voice boxes here? Or, well, I guess I only need one voice box, and it's apparently in the last place I've decided to look for it. Either that or it's across the electrified water that I'm not quite sure how to cross. Which, either way... Oh, it's a leak. Leaves me with quite the conundrum. But yes, the pieces are all coming together about what happened here in Rapture that led to this just total mayhem and destruction. And it evolved apparently a lot of backstabbing, double-crossing, underhanded tactics. Is that a turret up there? I can't even tell. It looks like a damaged something or other. Candidate induction? Oh, somebody was trying to sneak up behind me. Somewhere. Yes, I know find the voice box. What's that? I don't particularly like this room. Something about it just gives me 
the willies. There we go. Uh, okay, so I make two of everything, so that should be enough. And actually, how many does that give me? All right, so that gives me twelve. So it gives me another twelve. And oh, apparently that's as many as I can carry. Super duper. Beep. Really, I can only carry twenty-four anti-personnel rounds seems like not a lot. Don't be making weird beeps at me. There's enough weird shenanigans. Well, of course you're going to tell me not to do it, if it's the one way that I'm supposed to get to you. Ooh, alarm expert. Uh, I'm not using it. Four fewer alarms. Uh, we'll store in the gene bank for now. Sheesh. Finally found it. Well, here we go. Daddy out of you yet, I think. But there's only one piece missing. The bodysuit. Go to fail-safe armored escort. Uh, so I think that thing just literally mutated my actual voice box so that I actually sound like a big daddy. And if that's just not disturbing... No, I wanted to pick up the one I have on the floor, please. Thank you. Oh, if I had reloaded, I probably could have carried more. Can't carry any more anti-personnel rounds. Why not? Why can I only carry 24 anti-personnel rounds? No wonder I keep running out. I have a drastically limited supply of them. Alright, I gotta f I really gotta find out because I am that curious. You back again? There. Alright, so there's something going on in this room. I'm not sure if like this is just a hazard or something, but cuz I don't want to run through this room and then die a horrible death. And I don't have the thing that reduces shock damage. Plus I don't know if I can get anywhere once I get to the other side. Oh, it's just Oh yeah, I sound like a big daddy now. Okay, so there's a safe over there, but there's no way I'm going to be able to open that safe while being electrocuted. Oh, and that kind of sucksers. Can I stand on this? I'm about to die. Ah, oh, I was just about to hit a, a first aid kit.
And of course the question is, is it worth making my way over there and getting that again? Oh, and I'm downstairs again now. Okay, no, I can get back upstairs just over here. That's what these are for. Mendel Memorial Library. And I'll wait for the camera to not be looking. We'll come back to that in a little bit. So the question of the day is, do I go for that safe? The answer is an unfortunate yes. Because I'm stubborn like that. Oh! Of course. Saves me on ammo. That's for sure. Alright, now that should be hacked. There's probably a way to turn this off, and I'm probably just an idiot. But here we go. Okay, we're through it. Going forward. Okay, not the worst thing in the world. Sheesh. All of the sheesh. Yeah, we'll restock. Also, a crossbow bolt in here. Can I grab it? Hey, I can. All right. Oh, uh, yada, 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 yada. Splicing, blah, 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 blah. So the library's on the other side, and this side has... A person who is now dead. Alright, so there's nothing worthwhile on this side. But the other side has a library. And how big is that library? You know, hard to tell with this map. I'm not sure. Where the library is. I guess it's this little room? Let me just double check that. Open please. So where am I on the map? Okay, so that's the library. Just this little spot. Oh, and there's the camera. Uh-oh. So busy looking at the camera, I didn't see the freaking debris on the floor. Not cool. Sweet. So I'm gonna just check about real quick to see what's in this library. Ooh, Dawkins Law. Let's see if we can't find any cool goodies hidden here to end this episode off on. Open in there. What the? Oh, is there a. Oh, okay, there is.
Who puts explosives in a library anyway? That does not, that is not safe for the books. I apparently can't walk around. Oh, and then my camera blew up anyway. Take the kerosene, I'll take the frag grenade. Oh, is that the thing that I need? Wait, what's this? Oh, they're pieces! Did I get her? This is a piece! The boots! I'll need like a full suit. Interesting. Damage research too. Damage research too lets you exploit your enemy's weaknesses even more than before. I didn't even... Oh, I did. I did have damage research. Well, yeah, I'm going to upgrade. Always upgrade. There is never a downside to upgrading. So, hey, I would have had to uh, come into this area anyway. And deal with the freaky librarian. Should have hacked that first, but whatever. Uh oh. Are you Sheesh. I mean, if you're just gonna run at me with my guns blazing, then obviously you're gonna die. Ooh. Oh. The armor piercing rounds. Right. I forgot I had those. There's a lot of ammo in this library. Gimme. I didn't even think people would keep ammunition in the library. Alright, let's grab these boots. Vasislo, why are these boots here? They should be in fail-safe armored escorts. Uh, no matter. Take them, take them. Consider them taken. Now I am the one who is stomping around all noisily. All right, but I think that's going to cut it for now. I think uh, we've pretty much hit our time limit for today's episode. And what better place to end than in a library? Thank you uh, all so much, every one of you, for joining me today. If you enjoyed watching this video, like, comment, and subscribe for more from us at Full Coverage Writers. And until next time, get out there, be creative, and be awesome. Hmm. And why can we not do it to adults, I wonder? Ah, here we go. It's good start. Now you need only to find the bodysuit and the voice box from the other lab, and you will be a proper brute. Get moving. Hmm. Charming as ever. Uh oh. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Game Break, the full coverage writer's presentation where we try not to get slaughtered by big daddies that are right around the corner. Honestly, if you've been watching right now, you know what we're all about. Will here, back in Rapture as Jack. 
with a big daddy right around the corner. Hopefully, they won't come around this corner. Please don't come around this corner. Please don't come around this corner. I know I need to find gather pheromone samples. Okay. I don't know where they went, but they're not here. Okay. So, getting back to it. <laughs> We're back here. Uh, searching for samples so that we can smell like a big daddy so we can get a little sister to open a door for us. Uh, it hasn't been the superest, easiest of things. Part of me wants to take care of the big daddy right now. But of course, I don't know where the big daddy went. Probably up these stairs. So for now... Let's advance. Oh my. Those aren't my bullets. Okay. Okay, took care of her. Where are you going? The answer is nowhere. Okay, problem solved. Now let's listen in. I have to laugh uh, every time when I'm not playing this game. I think up all sorts of things I want to talk about related to the plot of this game. But then once I get in, the, uh... Ooh, another sample. The, uh... Fear and paranoia created by this atmosphere overtakes me once more. I want to listen to this recording, but I don't want to be disturbed by splicers. Why? There's somebody here. No. Ha. Where are you going? 